find the rule that relates the pattern number to the number of triangles. So this is a pattern of triangles. So this is pattern number one, pattern number two, pattern number three. So let's uh, make up a table first. So P for pattern number uh, and T for number of triangles. Say pattern number one has how many triangles? So this is three, six, seven. Okay, pattern number two has four, eight, 10, 12. Okay, pattern number three has five. So this is five, 10, 13, 16, 19. Now this is not a linear pattern. This is a curved pattern. So let's look at the pattern and think about how is it increasing. So well, this is increasing by five. So from the first pattern to the second pattern, you're adding five tiles, sorry, triangles. From the second pattern to the third pattern, so you're adding seven. So if you continue further, if you write the fourth pattern using the same logic, if this is increasing by five and then seven, the next should be increase by nine. So that should be 28. So let me write 28 here. So this is plus nine. And if you continue, let's go up to the fifth pattern. So if you go up to the fifth pattern, you have to increase this by 11. So 28 plus 10 is 38, so this should be 39. Okay, so I'm just looking at the rate of increase. Now if you look at the rate of increase, the rate of increase is also increasing. And that, that's where you have a quadratic pattern. So when this is the rate of increase, this is increasing by five, then seven, then nine, and then 11. Now if you look at the second rate of increase of the increase, this is the second, this is called, this is called the first difference. I'll write FD, FD for the first difference. This I'm writing, this, this is increasing by two. This is increase of increase is, this is also two. So this is a rule that you can remember. If the second difference, this is the second difference. SD stands for the second difference. So let me write it down. So as a rule, it's good to write the rule. Rules are good if you understand the rules. So there's always a pattern. So the rule is if the second difference if the second difference, SD, second difference, is constant, it is a quadratic, uh, it is, or the pattern is, it is a, co a quadratic, a quadratic pattern. Now what does quadratic pattern mean? Now, there's also one rule related to this. So I'm not writing, give you too many rules. So just to remember, the rule is, if this is, the second difference is two, as a, com, as a general rule, if the second difference is two, I'm going to write a, make up a column here. So the, it this has t squared. So let me write first t squared here. So, uh, sorry, not t squared, this is, should be p squared. I'm going to make up a column of p squared here. Okay, now what does p squared means? So this seven is made up of p squared plus something. So one p squared is one squared. So that's one, two squared is four, three squared is nine, 4 squared is 16, and 5 squared is 25. So I'm saying this number 7 is made up of 1 plus 6. Okay, this 12 I can write is 4 plus 8. 19 is 19 is 9 plus 10. 28 is 16 plus 12 and 39 is you can see a pattern developing 25 plus 
14. So if you describe this as p squared, this is also related with this p. Well, this is 6, 8, 10, 12. So this is a linear pattern. So this is increasing by 2. This is increasing by 2. So this is 2 plus 2 plus 2 and so on. The work is a bit messy. But so if we describe 1, 4, 9, 16, and 25 as p squared, how we describe this number series? Well, uh, can you relate this 1 with this 6, 2 with this 8, 3 with this 9, and so on? Well, this is increasing by 2, so I can say what, what if I write 2p? So 1 times 2 is 2, plus 4 gives me 6. I'll say it again. 1 times 2 is 2, plus 4 is 6. 2 times 2 is 4, 4 plus 4 is 8. Okay, 2 times 3 is 6, 6 plus 4 is 10. And for uh, this 12, you can say 2 times 4 is 8, 8 plus 4 is 12, and so on. So, so let me write. So this, what we are saying is 7 is 1 plus 6. 1 I can describe as, these number, or this column, I can describe as p squared, and these numbers I can describe as 2p plus 4. So we can say, uh, if we continue, suppose you, here you can say t for tiles has a relation with the pattern number. So that would be p squared plus 2p plus 4. That's a relation, that's a rule between the number of triangles, not tiles, number of triangles and the pattern number. So if suppose someone is asking you, using this rule, if how much would be there in the say tenth pattern? Okay, if you can, if you don't want to draw the pattern, so well that has to be ten squared. That has to be ten squared plus two times ten plus four. Okay, so this number that you are, the number of triangles that you're going to get would be this number squared plus 2 times this number plus 4. So this is using bed mass, so this is 100 plus, this is how much, this is plus 20 plus 4. So that should be 124 triangles in the 10th pattern. That should be 124 patterns, okay? So now I want you to look at this pattern and you want to find the rule that relates the width, which is the pattern number. So here, here you have the width of 1 and you've got 2, 4, 5, 5 math sticks, okay, here and so on. I want you to do that yourself.